Let me start uh, by welcoming this debate. I think it's uh, very timely. And I, let me also say uh, as an opening statement that the era of Europe's naivety and innocence on security matters is over. Um, and I'm very happy that uh, this uh, awakening of the European Union to security is something that happened before the war. Uh, we have uh, enacted two massive legislative uh, packages, the Common Entities Resilience Directive and the Network Information System 2 Directive, on which Mr. Godius was a rapporteur, precisely because we didn't expect for the war to remind us of the need to act. And I think that for the first time now at the European Union level, we have a robust set of rules that allow us to align protection against digital and physical threats at the same level of intensity and protection. And this is remarkable. This is new. This is remarkable. Is this the answer to all our problems? No. First of all, the political agreements on these two texts have to be uh, incorporated into EU law. But uh, a few hours ago, in the College of Commissioners, we adopted a recommendation, a council recommendation, that asked precisely member states to front load these new tools and these rules already now. And we're also asking them to enact crisis coordination mechanisms that were absent from the text because you would remember that member states resisted a crisis coordination mechanism. We had to fight in conciliation together to make this happen. So to cut a long story short, yes, we are much better prepared than ever before the European Union. No, we are not yet where we want to be at the same of countering every possible threat, especially against uh, 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 state actors. But we will get there. And with your help, I'm confident that we shall make it. Thank you.